out. Who is the finished tiny house? It's hard to get the full size of it because it's parked in this garden and it's hard to get the full picture of it. You know, it's this close distance, but you can kind of get a look at what it looks like from the outside. So, let's go in and have a look. Well, what have we got? You got I still gotta put a mattress up on top of that, that'll be a double bed. And then down below, that's like a built-in double bed. So that's a mattress. You know, they got covered in you know upholstery material and got the cushions made, so it's like a day bed, and then underneath there's some storage. And then here we have the kitchen, uh, all made from recycled wood, timber. That's just a storage unit, and then this is going to be the fridge here, the unit there, and then this is the sink unit, all made from recycled timber. And actually, those the, the worktops that you can see on here, they were in the factory that I built it in. It was an old Coca-Cola plant, and they were teak window boards. They got them thrown out, so I got them from a skip, and it's a dumpster in America. It's a word, and I machined them down and made new worktops. The rest of the material is just made from pallets and then painted up in the same colour as that window was painted, just to match that up. So, here we got, we got a little two ring propane stove there. And then down below we have 220 volt sockets all along the walls, really. There's them down there. Like that, there we go. And then, up there on the roof from the ceiling walls I have these twin 12 volt so it's all gonna run off solar first they're like 12 volt sockets and up the top then there'll be a single bed well I've got some stuff stored up there we need to make a get a mattress and make a ladder up there and then here we have a nice little wood burning stove that's called a hobbit stove you know I don't have the uh, exhaust pipe hooked up just yet but uh, there's a little, you can see on the top there, there's a little stainless steel cook plate you can cook on once that's lighting. Um, but I haven't got the exhaust pipe up to the ceiling yet because I'm not going to tow this thing with that connected. I'm going to fit that on site. Yeah. And that's the little uh, cabinet I made up for storing, that we're sitting the unit onto. And then when I open the door and rake the fires, I get this fold up shelf here just sits like that so that what coals don't hop out and yeah, burn my linoleum floor that goes back in like that yeah, and then yes yeah, so a fridge unit and then sink unit and then up here we have which is hard to believe that in a small space like this I'll be able to have a hundred inch screen and have a projector showing movies so I won't get too bored now, and then in here we have uh, you can see that's where the bathroom is and that is the door and what have we got full size flushable loo toilet yeah nice simple small sink that fan is actually uh, it's like a recycling the, the heat vent it sucks the air the moist warm air going out it heats up a ceramic element and then brings in the, the fresh air and heats the fresh air on the way in and then we got a nice floor all built from teak a nice big 900 mil by 900 mil shower unit uh, so anyone can fit in there so that's it after all that effort that's what this thing looks like 
Well, it's got to go a long way. As I go to a big field down in Connemara, that's where it's gone. But it, this COVID lockdown has everything messed up. I can't do anything at the moment. I'm just waiting. Anyway, that's what it looks like. All done and dusted.